All right, hello everyone. Today we're doing something a little bit different. Instead of a drop, we're doing a little bit of a mech bay campaign rebuild thing here, and that's because we've picked up four mechs in the last couple drops. First, a uh, Crab 3.0, then an Atlas 7S, Thunderbolt 5SE, and a Marauder 5M. M, rather. And so I want to use some of these, but uh, I have some interesting, interesting problems with them. So, for one, I do like the Marauder 3R build with the double binary lasers, I think that's been really pretty cool, but uh, I do want the XL engine that's on the Marauder 5M. I know there's some danger there with, you know, having the whole thing explode, but, uh, well, that's a risk we're going to have to take. So, I think what we're going to do, um, if we just take a look real quick at this Marauder 3R, there's really nothing special about it. Double heat sink kit, sure, but I put that on afterward anyway. So uh, we're going to store it, and we're going to just modify the Marauder 5M. Now the reason um, the reason I'm doing it this way is because installing XL engines for a Marauder can be like two million or so C bills and a couple weeks. So if I switch this XL engine over to a chassis, it would cost me way more time and money. Than to do it this way. So we preserve the double heatsink kit, we have an LBX AC10 on here, double large pulse, double medium pulse, and this is where we're going to make some changes. If you'll let me, I don't know why it's not up. There we are. Oh, come on. Oh, well. Seriously? Alright, well, that seems to be a little bit glitched at the moment. Let's try it again. There we go. Don't know why it wasn't letting me grab those before, but it wasn't. We're also going to pull off the LBX uh, AC10. Oh, come on. Let me. You know what? Going to strip equipment. And then get some things back. Uh, this will take zero days. That's fine. Um, not the way that we should do it. For some reason. This mech is being a little bit bugged um, in the mech bay, and I mean this is effective. It takes off the jump jets, it takes off all the arms and armor, which is what I wanted. <coughs> oh, sorry. <coughs> sorry about that. Now it will cost us a little bit extra time in the mech bay um, moving around the heat sinks. I don't remember what those were, but that's all right. It's nowhere near the cost of putting in the XL engine. Um, onto this chassis. So, give me double binary laser back. We have 16.5 tons remaining. Of course, maximizing armor, that does drop quite a bit. And what I'm thinking is actually doing something a little bit different. So, you could put the... Well, do I have ammunition for the Rack 5? Let's see. I do. I do. I do. That's tempting. Um... Okay. Also have the rack two as an option. Um, do I have the Gauss rifle? I do not. Okay, well, that's on the shopping list. But very little I can do about it now. So the rack two, two recoil, no firing melee. Uh, one rack two six, mode selectable. You know what? We're gonna go for it. I think it'll be good. And we're going to take off some of these heat sinks. Uh, we don't need them really. I mean, if we look. Binary lasers run hot, yeah, and the rack, well, the rack will run a little hot as well. Um, what ammunition, how much ammunition can I get on here? So one ton, 15 shots, that's not a lot either. Well, I don't have ammunition for rack 2, though. Okay, well, much fun as, oh, don't, goodness gracious. It's not letting me move anything on that right torso, should have expected that. Okay, strip equip again. That's fine, we'll put it all back. Um, so give me equaling, give me the XL engine and the Polo 300. Alright, so we're only putting in things into that, that uh, side torso that we know we want to keep there. Binary laser, binary laser, actually I'm going for the double heat sink kit, good. And lower arm, lower arm. Arm accuracy on each one of these. 
It's crucial. And okay. Now if we take a look at our heat. Heat sinking, that's alright. I'm going to do can't do the so we're gonna do the LBX AC10 in here. Uh, which is just putting it back where it was so we don't actually lose much there. Oh no, that's the wrong LBX AC10. This one, we'll be putting it back for the top one. Maybe it's my mouse that's the issue. Hmm. I tried turning that off and on. Okay. How about now? Nope. <laughs> okay, that's obnoxious. Oh well. It'll cost us a couple extra days, but that's alright. Go over here to ammunition and. There's my. All I have are cluster rounds, but that's okay. They'll exploit from the binary lasers, punching holes. We'll do one. We'll do. Oh. We'll do two. And then we'll put another one of those double heat sinks back on here. It's a little bit risky. I should probably put a piece of case on there as well. Protect against ammunition explosions, so let's grab that. Um, I mean, 20 rounds, 20 volleys, it's not really necessary. But better safe than sorry, I suppose, for that. Let's lighten up the rear armor here just a little bit. And this should be a functional design. It'll take us a week. I could have put ferrofibers fibers on there, but I want to save that for the Thunderbolt, so let's get that validated. There we go. Thunderbolt 5 SE, let's take a look here. I love this chassis. Um, it's a little bit of a low-tech version. Pull off the jump jets as well. Okay, very well. Standard engine, core 260, gets us 4.7 on the move. It's a little slow. I'm a little bit faster than that. Let's rip off the LRMs. Um, And sinks. Hmm. Well, strip equip them, maximize armor, and let's see what we've got. Let's put in the ferrofibrous. Be good weight savings there. Uh, we'll put back on. So I don't want the core two hundred and sixty. I want something with a little bit more zip to it, so let's try a core 320. Um, that brings us up to 5.8. What was the 260 core? That was 5.7, if it's not really worth it. So, core 260 gave us 4.7, as opposed to 5.8. I guess that is worth it. <coughs> about a 300. That's also 5.8, so we'll do the 300. There's no difference in movement between the 300 and 320, which means that the 320 is a waste of money. We'll also put an XO engine in here for the extra free tonnage. Let's go ahead and maximize our armor. We need to put back the ferrofibrous that got stripped off by the that last change. And I have one more double heat sink kit, I think. Yes, I do. Great, so we've got a lot of cooling. We've got a lot of everything. Here's pretty good. And I want this guy to be surprisingly zippy for a Thunderbolt. So we're going to go into Equip and put a Supercharger on here, I think. And that'll get him moving at 7-8. Uh, so 7 on the move, 8 on the sprint. Very nice. Um, so the reason I do this, by the way, I know it doesn't extend my range with the sprint, but it does help with accuracy with long movements because you lose accuracy when you sprint, so if I can move at 7, then I can preserve the plus 1 there, and it, I mean, it adds up with other modifiers, right? So it's something that's worth preserving uh, at the very least. And let's take a look in at what I've got for SRMs. I have a bunch of SRM6s, which could be some pretty good punch. Do I have... Okay, I do have Artemis 4 ammunition, and what about a cockpit? Uh, fire control system. No, I have an FCS Apollo. You know what? We could make this like our command mech. Plus one initiative, plus two lance accuracy with indirect. Two injuries resistant. Yeah, let's do it. Nope, multi-track already on there. No. 
That's too bad. Well, not having the ability to do the Armus 4 ignition is a bit of a drawback. You know what? Put a clan LRM20 on there. We could also do a regular LRM20, but that's a lot of weight. We need to get some lasers back on here as well. Uh, we could just do the regular larges. We do have an improved binary. Let's do that. I've been saving it for the Marauder, but I think having one on here will be pretty decent. Um, we're running a little hot now. Still up 13 tons though, so let's go ahead and see. Uh, do I have... no, no. We'll put some equaling on here, that would be a good decision. Yep. I don't have a heat exchanger. It's a little unfortunate. Um, you know, I might I <laughs> do hardened armor. Six tons overweight, and now we're moving at 6.6. Six. Yeah, hardened armor is just so difficult to make worthwhile. Um, just the improved time shears, but I'll know. Okay, well, let's put some double heat sinks on. I think uh, two here should be nice. We need ammunition for the LRM 20. So, can't do Artemis 4. Can do fast cam, which is mines. Don't really want that, so we'll, be, we'll keep our eye out for an Artemis 4 uh, upgrade here. But for right now, we'll just do two of those. Uh, and what else do I want on here? Put in the ER mediums, it's probably not the worst idea. Three laser slots in the left torso is pretty nice. So actually, should move the LRM ammunition to that right torso doesn't have anything else in it. Um, but having trouble grabbing that in, so. Uh, let's do one ER medium, two ER mediums, and three ER mediums. Pretty heavy loadout now, so we'll need to sink some more heat. Let's get a heat sink kit, heat sink kit, two tons remaining. We're burning very hot here. He, uh, alpha striking for 127, only sinking 96. That is not nearly good enough, so let's try adding two more of these. Still a little toasty. Yeah, still a little toasty. That honestly could be worse. Um, the supercharger is probably throwing us over the edge. So I guess I could get rid of that and just be moving at 5.8. Uh, probably a better decision. Um, oh, are you telling me I can't get rid of it? Goodness gracious sakes alive. Well, strip equipment. We're going to do this again. Uh, because apparently we have to. Let's get our lower arms on there. I did forget about those. Uh, do I only have one? Should have two. There's a second lower arm. There it is. I don't care about the hands because I don't really do any punching. Um, and we need to go back on and throw the 4300. We need to put the XL engine on here. Uh, we do have maximized armor. Now we need the double heat sink kits and barrel fibrous. Very nice. We did like the binary laser. Um, I wanted that whole same loadout other than the uh, supercharger, so let's go ahead and put back the LRM20. This time we can do our ammunition correctly and throw those into the right torso, and that looks okay. Um, let's go in here, let's stack three ER mediums into that left torso. Very nice. Um, nine tons remaining. We needed an equaling, so in that equaling plus two. Did I have it in here? With. Was there one? No. So we need to go here, throw that in. Very nice. Seven tons left, and I think we're going to fill most of that with heat sinks. I think that's kind of a necessity. So let's do that, 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 and that. Three tons remaining. We might run out of free spots here, so let's give this a try. Yeah, one ton remaining. We only have one slot remaining as well, but our heat situation is pretty much handled. Uh, it could be a little bit better, but it could also be significantly worse. So we have a free ton, what should we do with it? Put case on there, that'd be a good decision. Uh, this is giving me 1.75 tons, which means I might not even need it. Yeah, so what we're going to do, we're going to take off the ferrofibrous and just drop a little bit of armor on that rear arc there. And this is a functional design. It's not ideal, we, we would want plan ferro on there in an ideal world and put, have a little bit better cooling, I think. But this is certainly more functional than the standard build uh, for this 5SE. 
I think it'll be a good addition to the group. So 23 days to get it online will take a while, so you won't see it until uh, next week, certainly. All right, thank you guys for hanging around, and we'll see you again real soon.